Assalamu alaikum everyone. So today we are going to do the last paragraph of uh, Maria Sharapova. Okay children. So we are done till ninth paragraph. You are just seeing it. Like any number of TV sensations, Maria Sharapova is fashion, singing and dancing as her hobbies. She loves reading the novels of Arthur Conan Doyle. Her fondness for sophisticated evening gowns appears at odds with the love of pancakes with chocolate spread and fizzy orange drinks. So children, here we see that in this paragraph which I have already explained you children. Here in this we see that Sharapova like all other teenage girls, teenager girls, she also like fashion, she also like singing and dancing. And these are the her hobbies. So if the question comes, for example, what are the hobbies of Maria Sharapova? You should write fashion, singing and dancing. Then she loves reading the novels of. Now when it comes for reading, she also likes reading the novels of Arthur Conan Doyle. So Doyle is, uh, uh, he is writing the spy stories and you know, detective stories. Mm, like Sherlock Holmes, I remember, I told you. Her fondness for, so she likes Sherlock Holmes, reading Sherlock Holmes. Her fondness for sophisticated evening gowns appears at odds with her love of pancakes with chocolate spread and fizzy orange drinks. So, uh, it is said that uh, it is odd to imagine that, you know, her likings towards gowns. She loves wearing gowns, right? But, on the other hand, it is really odd to imagine that a girl who, you know, looking at her body, uh, which is so fit, it is, uh, you know, not believable that she also eats a lot of chocolates uh, spread over the pancakes. So, because it is with high calories, anybody can grow fit, put on weight. So, here this is all we have uh, heard about her likings and disliking. Now coming towards the last paragraph, Maria Sharapova cannot be pigeon hold. What is pigeon hold? Here it is classified. Classified. Pigeon hold ka madha bata hum usit categorize nahi kar sakte. Maria Sharapova cannot be pigeon hold or categorize. We cannot classify Maria Sharapova to anything. Because her talent unwavering, unwavering is unmoving, right? Form. Unwavering ka matlab hota hai, form. So her talent, her firm desire to succeed, that means strong way to succeed and readiness to sacrifice have lifted her to the top of the world. Readiness to sacrifice. But what has she sacrificed? Hmm? So her readiness for sacrifice, that means, has she sacrificed anything? Yes, she is living without her mother since she was 9 years old. So for 2 years she has uh, left her home, her mother and she was living all alone. So this was her readiness for sacrifice. Such a small kid cannot live alone, but still she was living. Her sacrifice has lifted her to the top of the world. So if we see Sharpo, Maria Sharapova now, we see on the top of, uh, you know, among the top of the tennis players, it is because she deserves, because she three nasi abilities and jinke karan, she deserves to be on the top list of the world. Which are those three? She cannot be categorized. That means, She has one single goal and she works for that. Her talent, first thing, the three things are her talent, that means talent of playing tennis, her firm desire to succeed. You know, she had full faith on herself that she has to win. Any moment, any tournament, she just decides. You know, she makes her mind, that is her willpower, that she is going to succeed. And third thing is the readiness to sacrifice. So she has a sacrificing nature. So here we see that these three qualities, talent, uh, firm desire, as well as readiness to sacrifice, brings her to the top of the world tennis players. Moving.
few would grudge her the Thank you and have a great day.